So, uh, just out here today on a little bike ride. Pretty windy, raining a little bit. It's gonna get dark soon. Uh, yeah, gonna, when I get to the trailhead, start my little tracker. So I forgot to do that. Uh, just pedaling out to the trailhead right now. All right. Uh, made it to the trailhead out here. There it is right there. It started raining. Wind calmed down a little bit. Um, my ears are very cold. I'm not gonna go too far because it looks a little bit nasty over there. Um, that's pretty much it. See ya. Throw you guys on the, the chest mount and start climbing. All right, on the trail. Uh, just now beginning. Let's see here we go. Got a new tire on the rear, first ride on it. Um, first ride at these bars, first ride at the drop of post. Uh, I got this little headlight, so I was planning on going in the mornings. But it's really, really dark at six. Probably kind of windy. Hopefully, that doesn't affect it too bad. So, here's the first road. Uh, I'm gonna go up to the second one. I'm just gonna go straight up. A lot of times, I go over that way. It's a little bit of a more windy climb. A little slower. If I have more time, I like to go that way. There's two routes right here. I actually think I'm gonna go this way to the right. Uh, I haven't really been on this trail to the right right here. So, I guess we'll test it out. Yeah, so I'm just getting used to these bars right now. Uh, so these are 780 millimeters wide. Oh, uh, there's a person coming out. This is a little awkward talking. Uh, I'll see you guys in a second. How's it going? Oh yeah, so... Oh, I can't see. I don't wear glasses. Um, so, like I was saying, these are 780 millimeter wide bars. Um, I got them on Amazon. Pretty cheap, it's aluminum, no carbon, that's too much money. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of getting used to them. I had 680 millimeter before these that I bought this bike with. Oh, here's a nice section. Let's see if I can climb on it. Nice. These are just the trails right around my house. I uh, come out here with my dad. Oh, here's another thing. Get a low gear for this. See what we can do. Oop. That's not gonna happen. I can go up this. 
Yeah, like I was saying, these trails up on the house, they are very nice for short rides, hour long rides. You can go all the way up to the base of that mountain, uh, maybe even higher, all the way up in that canyon up there. If you can see that, almost up here at the top now. All right. Uh, we're at the top. Different trail going down. Goes out that way. Nice view. Wind's picking up. I'm not going to be doing as much work. So I'm just going to leave on the windbreaker. But sometimes when I'm going, it will shift weird when I pedal really hard. Uh, it'll shift even if I have a shift. Not sure what that is, but um, if anybody knows, that would be helpful. Um, right. Yeah, I uh, need to put my chain stay protector back on. It's making all the noise. It's my chain slapping. Probably can't hear a thing right now. Oh, it's hard to see without glasses on. Oh, I could have rolled that. section of trail. I don't think I'm going to bother with the tripod because it's getting windy down here and I just don't want to do it.
here. you guys on the gear I was wearing I'm sweaty so I was just wearing a regular old long sleeve shirt I have these um, LA police gear shorts on and I have some Ethica tights some wool socks and uh, whew, just some skate shoes the gear that I have so I wear my CTI knee brace with the little knee pad in and I don't have another knee pad for this knee I did not tear my ACL on that knee just this one um, Some Fox dirt paw gloves. I believe they are a chest mount GoPro chesty uh, this Outdoor products backpack um, right now I'm filming on the GoPro Shorty. I have this little thing. It holds my phone and it has a GoPro mount. Uh, so I can use that if I want to get two different shots at the same time. Um, I was wearing just a regular old windbreaker. These are the bars. They're 50-50 um, bars. I have this little light. I don't know what brand it is. I picked it up at a bike shop when we were down south. Uh, it's a Cannondale Moto. I don't know the year. I think it's 2010. Uh, I put on a PNW dropper post. Let me put it down. Um, I have a 2x system, 2x9. Uh, so the dropper's over here. It's kind of hard to reach, but it's manageable. I can do it just like that. I don't have very big hands, so uh, works pretty good. I blew up my old the one the Rock Shocks Monarch that came on this bike so so I put a new one on brakes are squeaking uh so I put a new one of those on so I just got this new it is a Continental Trail King 2.4 inch tire 2.4 on the back uh I had 26s on here um it's kind of an older bike. And I have just a Kenda, I don't know what, on the front. So it came on it. Um, one other thing I forgot about. I have a gyro, I don't know how to say that. Uh, some, some type of a fixture. It's pretty light gray. I really like that helmet. Okay, so in my backpack. I have this little guy for my phone. You unscrew this. It can clamp on your phone like that. Uh, I did not use that. Uh, that's in the front pouch right here. Ow. I also cut my finger open working on working on my mountain bike on the on the front brake. One of these spokes got me. So I have a Rugard case for all my GoPro stuff. It all fits in here. Well, most of it except for the chest mount. GoPro goes right here. Dual battery charger. Uh, SIM card thingy. Bunch of mounts. I have uh, two extra mounts. I have this guy for your handlebars that it'll clamp onto. Now I gotta figure out how I had these in here, something like that. Um, an extra sticky pad, an extra battery, fully charged, and in this little spot, I didn't really know what to put in there, so I put an extra one of these, a little thumb screw. Um, up here, this is the clamp that I use for my motorcycle helmet because it's on the side of my helmet. This thing folds down and then it 
puts it so that the camera's straight and not in portrait mode. Uh, in here, just a little microfiber. I have a little cube in there and the cord for the dual charger. So that's all that fits in here. Uh, yeah, that's it. See you guys next time. That was a uh, first mountain bike vlogging, whatever you want to call this. See you later.